Welcome to today's 3D prints. I have some more prints for you. I've been doing a lot of printing this past couple weeks. I haven't had a lot of time for other stuff, so I've been just keeping the printers busy making cool stuff that I found on Thingiverse and whatnot. So, stay tuned. So, what do I have today? First, one of my viewers, Lizard Wizard, made me a critter. He says, instead of printing a Marvin, print a Narice. So I was like, why not? That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know exactly what to think of it, but I think it's pretty damn cute. So of course I had to print it. So I printed two. <laughs> I thought that was so adorable. Thank you so much for making that, man. I also found these cool little gyroscope little keychain thingies. So these, have, they all print together and they have inner rings that spin, like a little gyroscope. And so of course I also print one in orange, that's that autumn 3D fuel PLA that I love so much. And then I got to thinking, when I was twisting this around, this happened. I noticed that it can bend and it comes apart. So what about a multicolor one without a multicolor printer? Easy! Print two, one in each color. Or, if you don't want to print two, you can separate connected parts in your slicer and print each of the four rings separately. So you can make a four color one with only printing one. But I just went the easy route. I printed two, one blue, one red, and I swapped parts. So now I have a blue, orange, blue, orange, and an orange, blue, orange, blue. Isn't that cool? I thought that was neat. This is 3D Fuels APLA Autumn Limited Color. And Atlantic Ocean Blue from Toner Plastics. Very, very cool. Also, I have my first perk for my critters. Uh, Michael um, made this, and um, I had some suggestions for how to improve it. He was gracious enough to actually make all those changes, and it came out absolutely fantastic. It's holding your hand, it's nice. It's an SD card case. So this will hold 10 SD cards. How cool is that? I love it. I love the sprocket camera aperture style look to it. I asked him, like, can you do it with full size SD cards? Because his was with micro SD cards. And he did. He made a full size one. And he gave me permission to make this available to you guys. So I'm going to make a customized version of this with... Um, you know, today's 3D print and whatever on the top of the lid, maybe even put your name on it if you want. That'd be pretty easy to do. And make this available to people as a perk for the channel. So that's very cool. Thank you, Michael, for letting me do that. I appreciate it because I really love the design of your case. And I have two more fantasy graph prints that I've made. I love his models. They are stunning. So of course, you're all screwed. You better look away now because once you see this, Don't turn your back. <laughs> you look away, you die. So never ever turn your back on a weeping angel. These are the weeping angels from Doctor Who. Um, in the show, these look like statues. They're supposed to be gray, but you know, Atlantic Ocean Blue is what I had loaded, so that's what I printed it as. Um, in the show, these look like statues, but if you turn your back to them, they animate and they attack. They're demonic angels. I thought that was a beautiful print. It actually came with one little bit of support built into the model for the chin here. You just cut that away and that's it, you're done. As usual, the Ender 2 did a good job, although it didn't do a good job on the hands. The hands came out pretty bad. I'm going to have to look into why it did that. But overall, I'm very pleased. And then this one, I don't remember what the name of it is, but I'll have a link down below came out amazing. This came out so nice. The swords didn't come out that great, in my opinion. They're not bad, but I, I would like better. But the layer alignment is so good on the Ender 2 that the quality is just incredible. It shines. You can see the difference between a part that doesn't shine and a part where the layers are aligned so well that it's shiny. There it goes. Look at that. The layer alignment on this printer is really pretty impressive. 
there you go I also got a set of legs printed out for the printer so these are going to be the legs to raise up the CR10s and maybe the TiVo Tornado as well so that I can put the control boxes underneath the printer and I have extensions that I got from Tiny Machine so I can extend all the cables and that will allow me to take up a lot less space with all the printers now this is supposed to be printed like this you'd use support to support it and this would allow the plastic to run this way which is where the plastic is strongest because now when you try to break it you are breaking the actual plastic while the way I printed it like this required no support but it has a problem you're now not breaking the plastic you're breaking the layer bonds which are a lot weaker than the plastic Okay. Now I use the APLA and it's very strong. That was actually a failed print from a power outage. Um, the prints that I make use other plastics. Some work, some don't. The weak point is that connection there. So I've been putting a bead of glue there. I can show you actually. So even though I don't think this plastic needs it, I've been putting a bead of glue there to strengthen it. But I have another solution. And it'll actually reduce the amount of plastic it takes. I'm going to put, for these, I'm going to just drill a hole. I'm going to drill a hole straight through here into the leg. And then I'm going to fill it with glue. And I'm going to take a sheetrock screw and just put the screw in. Now, when you try to bend this, you're bending the screw. The screw will connect the two parts together. Because think of these as two separate parts that are connected by the layer adhesion of the plastic. And that's where it's going to break. It's, it's going to break like that. <coughs> it won't break down here. It'll break here. So put a hole in there and then put the screw in there, done. So um, assuming he doesn't disallow it, I'm going to do a remix of this and I'm gonna put the hole in there so it'll actually print the hole and then you'll just have to screw a screw into there. You won't even need any glue, although glue would probably help. Um, and then you can print them like this. So you get that nice clean print using less plastic, taking less time because it takes about 14 hours to print four of these and go from there. I will have more videos updating that. I also have a couple of new printers. I got a good deal on Amazon, 120 bucks for a mono price mini select. So I grabbed that. I'm not going to do an unboxing video. The thing's pre-assembled in the box. There's not really anything to unbox and it's a pretty old printer. I also have one coming from Gearbest that is the, I believe it's the G-Tech variant of that printer, the G280 or something like that. That should be here today. So in the next week or two, I will have videos up of my progress with those printers. I also have um, the ANET E12 coming once they actually get them in stock, and because um, they're not available yet, it's 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 coming, but it's not available, so they can't send me one until they have one. I also have the HE 3D H500 coming, which is an interesting printer. Uh, it has a dual zone heat bed. I think it might even be an AC heat bed, but it has a dual zone 200 by 200 or 400 by 400 heat bed. Um, looks like a, a more advanced printer than your typical CR10 style printer. So I'm hoping for good things from that. Looks like a um, halfway between a CR10 and a GMAX or a Zingerbot. So that should be an interesting printer. It also has, um, I believe it's a color touch screen on the side as well. And the um, printer has a 500 millimeter build volume. So 400 by 400 by 500 millimeter. So it's halfway between a CR10 S4 and a CR10 S5. So it's got the X and Y of an S4, but the Z of an S5. So that should be very interesting. I'll be able to make some exceptionally tall prints with that, which I'm going to enjoy. That's it for today. You guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you for watching my channel. I appreciate it. You do your like, subscribe stuff as you see fit. I appreciate it. And um, I'll see you next time.